Greg Kinnear, welcome to Film Scouts. Have Glad to be here. Have you guys been on the internet much? Mm, yeah, I've got a website. There's an unofficial, what do you call it? Um, there's a website. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called a website. I think it's called a website. Excellent work. Yeah. Uh, you spent a lot of time putting that up? <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I, yeah, I've been on it a little bit. I, I'm kind of starting to figure it out slowly but surely. It's a tricky thing, but... Uh, I emailed a lot. Do you? Yeah. What's your email address? I'm not telling you. Okay. You certainly don't want our viewers to find out <laughs> that they're bombarded. Oh, I know. It's bad enough when we Remember get... when you first got your email, you were so easy with giving out your address, and then you find out that everyone starts to write to you. I gotta think there's a shoveler though. I gotta think somebody's a shoveler. I bet if you even tried to get it, you I couldn't even get it, right? Call up, see if I can. So the shoveler, your character actually reminds me a little bit of you, in that you've been, I know of you as slaving away in the New York theater scene for years on end, right. and putting in your dues and, and getting progressively bigger roles and getting more prominent to a point where those of us who are in the scene know you. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, in the last few years, it's as if you were discovered out of nowhere. <laughs> right. Uh, what's that been like? And did you draw overnight that? after 20 years? Um, it's been grand. It's it's uh, we both got indicted for Oscars, and uh, it, it changes everything. It just changes everything. You are you've been kicked up to the grown-ups table. You have been ratified by your pals and all the producers who and directors who were thinking that perhaps you'd be good for the role, now they have permission to put you in the role. And your agents can duke it out for more money, and it's all good. Did you draw on your life experience in, the, in creating this character? I'm sure I did. I think one always does. I chose, I, I, I thought um, High Noon was the, the, the model for me, Gary Cooper and High Noon, uh, a, a strong moral base, monosyllabic, don't talk a lot, just figure out the right thing to do and go for it. How about your ultra superhero? I, I thought of him as an overpaid super athlete who's having a really lousy season. <laughs> just a guy who has basically become kind of uh, complacent with himself and has turned what used to be a great passion into a cottage industry that deals with only his own narcissism. Who were your favorite superheroes growing up? Well, we both discovered we weren't comic book kind of guys. I, I watched TV and I liked the, I liked the guys. I liked Maverick. I always wanted to be Maverick. I thought he was the coolest. Mm. You know, I, I, I don't know. I wasn't a big superhero guy. You ever heard of uh, Ultraman? Doesn't you haven't, no. You know, and I've explained it to people, and they, they just give me this kind of stunned look like, who is this moron? So I'll do you the favor. I won't tell you about Ultraman, but you got to trust me. Very cool superhero. Uh, do you guys have any messages for your fans on the Internet? Uh, no. Mm, say something. No.com? No.com. <laughs> Hello.com? Hello.com. Uh, um... No, I guess mm -hmm. not. Well, hopefully uh, you can speak for yourselves in the interview. Yeah, all right. All right. So, thank you very much. Nice talking to you.